You want to carry something. You need gloves. So you put on gloves to carry those things. Please, let me ask you a question. Is it the gloves that's carrying it? But what people see carrying it is the gloves, right? They don't see your hands. That is how it is. We are the gloves in the hands of God. And once God has put us on, he uses us to do those things, to carry things, to help people. Oh, that is what it's all about. It's not to come and tell people that, oh, I have the power. I have. What power do you have? If all we are doing is to bring people under a roof to show that power, we have not done anything. Go out there. Go to the streets and show that power if you really have it. Meet somebody who does not deserve, somebody who wants to kill you and show him kindness. Not to insult him. Not to now vent your own anger and your own bitterness. Which is what we are doing today, by the way, in Christendom. Sadly. And I, don't, and I wonder who, who you think wants to listen to your gospel. When there's no act of kindness in your heart towards another man. Who wants to listen to your gospel? You will see by the time we get to the end that all this kindness will come when you have become like a child of God. How do I become like a child of God? You will see it when we're talking of prayer. When God says, come and pray. Let us spend time together. It is so that he can rub off on us to be like him. Prayer kills the flesh. Serious prayer kills the flesh. If you are praying and you are still fleshly, you have not prayed yet. You are just talking. The reason why many of us are still fleshly is largely because our prayers are self-focused, self-centered. You go to God in prayer and seek his face concerning your life and see him begin to chuck. He will tell you the things. This way, you spoke to that person that way. That is wrong. Go and apologize. He begins to break you down. The people that God will use are people that he will first of all scatter. It's like a, a, you, you, give, you, you bring something to someone. The first is going to do is God will open you up and begin to remove everything that he needs to remove. And then put you back. If there's an error, he will bring you back again. Open you up again and remove everything until you are perfect. People who will not look to themselves. People who are interested in God and his work. I thank God for what Emmanuel shared uh, uh, much earlier. Because that is the key. There is a work to be done. We have challenges. Those challenges are distractions. Let me tell you the truth. They are distractions. God will deal with those things. You commit your ways to God. And commit your life to him. Be a born servant. Some of those things that you are running after. You will discover you don't even need them in the first place. They have no use to you. But because somebody in the world wants them. Or has them. That's why you say you want them. Brethren, honestly speaking, we need to be like the Lord Jesus Christ. Because there were many things that happened in his time. And he manifested the person, the person of the Father. The Bible says, no one has at any time seen the Father. The Son, he has what? Revealed him. How did the Son reveal him? By his acts, by his deeds, he revealed this is the father. So I ask the question, when people see you and I, what God do they see? A vengeful God, a compassionate God, a good God, a God that shows kindness to the undeserving. What God do they see when they meet with you? When you say, I'm a child of the living God, you don't know me, I'm a child of the living God, what are they seeing? What are you projecting? Because every believer is projecting Christ, is supposed rather to be projecting Christ. But when what we are projecting is not Christ, it's not Christ we are projecting. 